Hello, welcome to Spotlight on Sandcastles. Today we are featuring our Rainbow Room exhibit, which is the light bright here at Sandcastles. The Rainbow Room features this wonderful panel of light with individual holes where kids can put colored pegs and create different designs. The actual face of the light bright has 391 holes in it and we have a lot of colored acry acrylic pegs to put inside those holes in order to make different kinds of designs. One of the things we kind of struggled with when we were designing the light bright was how to create the dark space or the black in the design. We went and visited a lot of different websites at a lot of different children's museums where they have light brights too. And one of the things that seemed to kind of be a challenge in building the light bright was that the black would break down. We saw light brights that had kind of a black material behind the pegs where when you inserted the peg, it would go through the black material to have the light come through the peg. And then when you pulled the peg out, the black material would close. But unfortunately, a lot of those kinds of materials, whether it was rubber or some kind of fabric, it would break down eventually and it would let the light through, which kind of um, takes away from the overall design. And we really wanted something that was going to stand up to the test of time and stand up to lots of children playing with it. And so one of my favorite exhibit builders is named Mark Todd. And Mark Tide and I were kind of working through the design ideas of this exhibit. And one of the things that Mark always says to me that I really love is he says, I need to go home and cogitate this. Cogitate is a very important word when you're talking about designing exhibits. And so Mark would go home and he'd think about it and he'd think about it and he'd come back the next day and he'd say, you know what? I think we need to get black pegs, black opaque pegs that the light won't come through. And then we won't have that issue and the children can just put the black wherever they don't want their colored design to be. And so that's exactly what we did. We came up with these opaque black pegs that go into the holes where there is not part of the colored design and it's worked wonderfully. The other person that really helped us, or the other people that really helped us with this, this exhibit was Northwood Signs. Scott and Diane were extremely helpful in trying to figure out how we could bring this exhibit to life. And the actual frame of our lighted board is really a sign. It's a lighted sign. To, and then um, drill all of these different holes into the face of the sign so that the pegs could fit in and the kids could create designs with a light behind it. So we really thank Northwood Signs for all of their help and their help in cogitating all of the different issues that we came upon once we were designing this exhibit. And also I cannot forget, um, Great Lakes Casting Company has also helped us a great deal with this exhibit. They helped provide the funding to start the exhibit and get it up and get it rolling. And we really appreciate their financial contribution. So there's a lot going on in this exhibit besides just the creativity aspect. Um, like all of our exhibits, we try and layer in different lessons that the kids can learn. And some of the lessons in this exhibit are very simple, like color recognition, talking with even our youngest visitors about different colors, what color is that? And also sorting, sorting them into the different bins of color. Uh, we have a lot of sight word recognition because everything is labeled, whether it's a colored peg or where things go, that type of thing, so that they can learn a lot of sight word recognition. And then there's some lessons in here for um, just color in general. What's a primary color? What's a secondary color? How do you blend colors to make other new colors? We have a color wheel in here. And so just like with all of the exhibits, it's up to that individual child on what, what, what piques their interest and what do they want to learn more about. And we provide all of that kind of information within the exhibit. Mm -hmm.